Welcome to Tattoo Titans. I'm your host, Jamie Foxx. Here, the best professional tattoo artists from around the country battle each other and the clock as they compete for $10,000. Who will take home the $10,000 and the title of Tattoo Titan? Artists, you'll be competing in three rounds. After each round, the judges will decide which tattoo is the weakest, and that artist is going home. Let's meet our judges. Artists, please open your tattoo cases. That's right, artists, God and guns. Your job is to take these two pieces and use it as inspiration for a killer tattoo. Artists, your skins all wanted a tattoo in memory of a lost loved one. The judges have all had a chance to review your work. But before we hear from them, they want to hear from you. Chris, please tell the judges about your work. Congratulations, Joe and Jay Michael. You've made it to the final round. One of you is going to become the next Tattoo Titan walking away with $10,000. But first, you'll face off in one last challenge, judges' choice. Artists, please open your tattoo cases. Judges, which style did you choose? This style is tattoo anime. Artists, you will have four hours to sketch your design and complete your tattoo. Time's up, machine's down. So, have you guys reached a decision? I'm pretty sure so. All right, let's yes. bring the artist back in. J. Michael and Joe, the judges have made a decision. If it's your tattoo that appears on the screen, you're walking away a tattoo titan with $10,000. He's very happy. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So you decided to work with Howard Benson again. How did that work out? A little bit like the first record, it fought a lot. So besides dressing the same, how do you guys keep it fresh in the band? Mark the van shoes and the clothes. That's kind of embarrassing, I'll be honest with you, that you pointed that out. <laughs> I, I, He's I, like, I, man, yeah. I speak for the group. Uh, Woo! Yeah. Hey, thanks for that. This is my last resort. How did you uh, guys come up with Papa Roach? Oh man, that's a... Uh... I know everyone asked you that, but I, no, had to, uh... I had to do it. What is the craziest thing you've had happen to you with someone like a fan? Like walk up to me, like, can I, will you have my underwear? Or, can, you know, here's a Care Bear with your face Dude, on it. Dude, I, or... <laughs> I just remember this chick rolled up after the show. She was obliterated, hammered, and she had her kid with her. Which is always sexy. That's oh, yeah. always a sexy. It was sexy totally moment. hot. That's good. And this is the first place that I've even mentioned that, so. Royal Artist Club. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. She gets the news. That's right. Check out these outfits. Everybody turn around. <laughs> what does your shorts say? Get low. Get low. Get low. Do, you, do you get low in your shorts? Oh, totally. I think. Ah, oh, you have it. I hate that. I'm so sorry. What did we learn today? Fashion don'ts, headbands, booty shorts, razor burn, small bikini tops, fashion do's, big sunglasses, colored hair, cell phones, and hooker necklaces. This is Jamie Fox. I'll see you next time. So you guys are still Panther, but you used to be Metal School. Why'd you change the name? Uh, we decided. By the way, this is the first time we've had a girl in the back of the bus, and with the clothes are totally on still. Yeah, it's really weird. You're staying on, sorry. Let me ask you guys a serious question. Yeah. How, what got you? Not you right now. What got you? <laughs> Did you guys come here to see? Disturbed. Disturbed. Is it true that the singer of Disturbed is gay? I'm here to see Ozzy. I don't know. I haven't tested that theory, but I hear. All right, do you want to? Are you kidding? Hell no. I want to see something crazy. Are you bitches? crazy? At the Molly Crew Boot Fest, we learned a lot today. There's heavy metal bands, lots of loyal fans, and girls, girls, girls. This is Jamie Foxx. I'll check you next time. Woo!